The tropical weather is heating up in the Atlantic as we approach the second half of the hurricane season. Meteorologist Pete Mangione has more on what we can expect, new at 530. As we approach the five-year anniversary of Tropical Storm Irene, there is a clear trend on the calendar of when tropical storms tend to form. The Atlantic Ocean is becoming a crowded place. Circled on the left is a tropical wave that could spell trouble for Florida and the Bahamas. And on the right is Gaston. Gaston will fortunately stay well wide of our area. Gaston is the seventh named storm of the year. On average, we get 12 named storms in the Atlantic. Even though the official Atlantic hurricane season is June 1st to November 30th, Hurricane Alex actually formed this past January. But most of the time, the second part of the hurricane season is much more active than the first. So it makes sense that the tropics are heating up right now. This graphic shows you the percentage of Atlantic named storms by month. Notice that over half occur after September 1st, and August alone spins up 27%. So far, we've been talking about all Atlantic named storms. But what about storms with local impacts? With ferocious winds and a damaging storm surge, Sandy made an especially late arrival at the end of October. Looking at this list of a few notable storms over the past 31 years, you can see that Irene and Bob battered New England in August, while Gloria held out until September. So are there more Atlantic storms to come this year? History in the calendar would say yes, and there is also very warm water right now in the Caribbean. Warm water can help tropical systems survive and also get stronger. Of course, the most devastating Rhode Island hurricane of all is the hurricane of 1938. That storm arrived in mid-September. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News.